Hello and welcome. Getting to hear the stories behind the art has always been one of the best parts of the Makoya program. Please enjoy as I speak with Hannah and Gracie about their artwork and be sure to check back soon as there will be more content released throughout the exhibition. So my name is Gracie Hergert and I go to St. Maximilian Colby Catholic High School. Uh, my name is Hannah Clark Gomez and I go to Aurora High School. So the intention was to create something surreal and dystopic to basically depict um, my interpretation of the apocalypse. Um, and each canvas in the triptych has its own specific meaning and it's a necessary piece to complete the whole story. And I guess the goal was to create a composition that kind of allows the viewer to think about the art and decide its meaning for themselves. Mm -hmm. So the way that I view the story and the art um, and the story that I believe it tells is meant to be different from the way somebody else interprets it. So they should kind of be able to um, look at it and feel emotion and understand it in their own way. Um, all right, so this piece is called Madness. Um, it was inspired like the rest of the work that I did this year um, by mental illness. It's sort of a visual depiction in a sense of how um, I've felt internally dealing with mental illnesses and how I'm sure other people may have felt as well. Um, this one specifically is um, kind of reflecting the feeling of being trapped within yourself um, and just like screaming internally, but um, putting on kind of a blank face. I was hoping goes to show that sort of like mm -hmm. inner torment that um, some people can feel when dealing with things like um, severe depression and anxiety, just this constant like being overwhelmed by emotions and then also just feeling completely numb at the same time and just wanting to scream at everything and nothing kind of all at once. I think my um, biggest mess, like my biggest goal with this work is just trying to normalize um, mental illnesses because like, as somebody who deals with them, it does feel like as much as it feels like um, your mind is working against yourself, there's also um, an extra barrier when it comes to speaking out about it because it's just so like taboo We're putting this right out there. I'm hoping that it um, shows people to not be afraid um, of this topic, to like not be a stranger. Um, that it's okay to talk about this stuff. It's normal, everybody, not everybody, but like plenty of people go through this. And that was another kind of goal with my work was to show that this is like an invisible illness. I really liked the idea. Um, I thought it would be cool to kind of tell one story with three different artworks. And I know that we could, we have the choice to do anything. We could do a triptych where all the pieces kind of connected together as one image, or we could do something different and tell a story. And I liked the idea of telling a story because I thought it would be interesting to kind of separate each piece and almost make each piece have its own meaning. So um, the two smaller canvases on the right um, were kind of more based on showing grief and sort of mourning for humanity. And then you have that giant centered canvas that almost takes a religious perspective Sure. on the apocalypse where you have this like floating figure in the sky and there's kind of light in the cloak and there's these faces being carried up and so that can almost kind of represent some kind of godlike figure you know taking people to a better place after all of this destruction and stuff so it, it was kind of nice to tell um, that story a little bit so the middle kind of takes away from all of the dark and dreariness of the um, two canvases on the left and the right yeah sure yeah so it's kind of like um the, the middle piece is like the the action is, yeah. is um, something that's happening and then you have sort of the the emotions um, on on the edges for the the, the context um, around it yeah yeah exactly um, mm -hmm. so um, yeah I was largely inspired I guess by um, my own struggles I know like from personal experience um, when I have opened up to some people around me about my own struggles they have reacted um, in a way that just like, not bad, but um, just where they're like, I would have never guessed, you know, because mm -hmm. as somebody who deals with it, you become really at putting up a wall. Um, it is something that many people struggle with, but that isn't talked about nearly enough for the um, impacts that it has. Yes, yeah. I got inspired from a lot of movies and science fiction, and I just thought it would be kind of a twist to do something more on the dark side. <laughs> so I don't know if you know the show, The 100, 
it kind of takes on the apocalypse a little bit in a more futuristic sense. Uh, it's a little bit different, but it's kind of similar. And I think most of it was inspired based on that, just because the way they kind of depicted, you know, how the apocalypse happened and how humanity survived, you know, how death came, all of those things in that show kind of sparked the idea. Um, movies, um, I think it's called Mad Max. I'm not sure. Oh yeah, oh yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, that definitely that comes one, across. Definitely. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, I'm looking forward to it. I've taken part in Aurora art shows previously, and they've always gone really well. It's always really fun to go and see other artists work as well. Um, that's actually my favorite part is just being able to go around and just look at the collection of everybody else's work, um, which is why I'm kind of sad that this year we won't be able to go in person because that's yeah. just part of like the whole experience. You know, I remember last year, I went to visit the um, high school art show from students that were in grade 12. And that's when it was in the other building before construction started. And I remember just like being so excited to be able to do it this year. And while it's not gonna be exactly the same, I'm glad that we still have the opportunity to showcase it to some degree. I am, I was really excited actually. My teacher reached out to me and my other friend about the opportunity. And I just thought it was really nice to be able to do something, especially during these times where everything's kind of boring and bland and there's not a lot going on. So it was kind of nice to be able to do this. So I really appreciate it actually. So I'm excited to show my work and for the public to see what I've done, but I'm also excited to see what everybody else has done and what they have to show. <laughs>